Okay, so I wanted to talk about the pieces that come that need to be printed. Okay, so you've got the covers for the outside where the bearings go in. One of them has a place for the halls. Um, it doesn't matter. You don't need to print one and the other. You can print two of these. But um, that has a place for the halls on this one and a bearing. And two rotors. Two rotor covers. Stator. Two pieces to the stator. And then these little pieces, this is the bobbin. This is what the coil gets wound on. You see it has a little lip on it. And where's it? We'll go together like that. Put a screw in there and wind them, wind the coil. So it'll fit, so it'll fit just right inside the stator there. And some various size spacers. Two millimeter and I think that's six millimeter. Point of having the spacers is you'll have the covers and you'll put the rotor cover on and the rotor well so you have the two rotors and they fit together nose to nose like this and it's just perfect for the stator to fit in between and um, I made the stator split because these will be pressed onto the um, shaft and it doesn't um, come off and on very easy. So once you get them pressed on, you don't want to have to take them off and on. And the uh, magnets have to be lined up to where they uh, match. So then afterwards, when you go to assemble, it'll just drop right in from either side very nicely. Works really good like that. But you're going to have the bearing in here flush up against here. And you don't want this rubbing. So you need to have a spacer on the back of this to keep it away from the bearing far enough. So it, it depends on how deep your bearing is. You may need a couple of them. You may only need one. The bearing should be flush up against there. So you only need one. And that's the point, you don't want it rubbing there. Um, and so you may need these. This one just in case. Because um, even then, if you wind your um, coils and you find out they're a little bit thicker, then uh, if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't drop in here just right, you may have to put one of these in between it. To spread it out just a little bit so you know that's another point of having these spacers okay so anyway this is all the pieces you've got you got two side covers two rotors two rotor covers and one stator and the little bobbins and miscellaneous spacers. See there's six of these because there's six coils. These uh, will stay in the coil, glued to the coil. So that's it, just wanted to go over all the parts that come with it, the print.